Returning to the show, totally a surprise even to me. And me. Senior Airman Richard Fitzwell. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Rigor, please. <laughs> oh, it's going to start now. <laughs> of course it's going to start now. Uh, you got another story for us? Welcome back to the show, good sir. Yeah, I got a, I got another Fitzwell story for your audience, Pop. Yeah, got, they love the Army stories. But before we start, how many people we have uh, in the queue? 452 currently watching, good sir. And right. it's only going to get better from here. Okay. Out. Standing. All right. All right, Richard. I'm not going to. Dickard, what do you got for us? I'm not going to disclose the unit or the, uh, no. who I was with. Uh, it's all right. They're good guys. They're all good guys. I, I loved working with these guys. But how many years have you been gone? I mean, Since... if it's been more than three years, <laughs> those guys are gone. Well, irrelevant. All right. I got you. Yeah. So, anyways, we're doing. We're doing this uh, operation for the State Department in South America, in Bogota, Colombia. And that happened all the time. Yes. Because I went down there a few times for counter-drug stuff back in well, the day. Well, no, this was not for that. No, I mean, but that was, was me back in the day in Colombia. This was, yeah, but this was for something too spectacular. So uh -huh. I go down there with these two gentlemen, and they were looking for a volunteer. And, of course, I volunteered for the shittiest missions that I could possibly get, just to build the rapport with the, with the guys. All right. Well, you mean you put in your dues like yeah. you're supposed to? It builds yeah. character. It didn't matter what rank I was. Yeah. Just put, put your time in. Okay. Well, before we deployed, we had a week of briefings and training. And one of the longest uh, one of the longest briefings was the, uh, the amount of STDs that were in Bogota. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Rigs! Totally true, though. Rigs! Yeah, it literally wrapped around the alphabet twice. Wow. Oh. There was some stuff down there that just they just didn't know. The herpagonosyphilis. Uh, beyond that. Gonorrhea! Oh. <laughs> so, okay. Keep it in your pants while you're down there. You're only there for a month. Whatever. It's not so, that hard. No, it's not. It's not that. But, no pun intended. But <laughs> in Colombia, <laughs> South American women. I know. I, so I, we know. This, oh, don't you? They are fine. I, I totally get it. Yeah. I, so I, I, my sympathy is for the sufferers of the story that's coming up because I know what's next. Well, okay. <laughs> so we're into our operations. It's like two weeks in. And oh, everything's running smooth. The management's going fine where we were at. It was no big deal. It's basically just logistics and management. Uh -huh. yeah, just, whatever. Well, it was like my intro to airfield management anyways. All right. Well, one of the deployed members I was with, he kept wearing these sunglasses, all right? And he kept wiping his eye. Oh, no. Well, the other one, I just heard him, I just heard him kept hacking, just like, Ugh. Ugh. After like, Thursday's at... stream, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> so... <laughs> I just, I said, okay, this ain't right. I said, take off the sunglasses. Oh, no. And he had the biggest weeping pink eye I ever saw. <laughs> it wasn't pink eye. It was, it was probably gonorrhea eye or something. Did he get pink eye from somebody's brown eye? Uh, who knows? Right? Hang on. Yeah, this is... Now, and at the same time, the other one who was hacking, just, oh, my gosh, his breath was horrible, worse than goat bellies. Oh my God, that's terrible! Yes, and I'm like, okay, all right, guys. Oh no! What the hell? <laughs> oh no! What the hell? They're like, uh, and they finally broke. They said, yeah, they got with a uh, one of the working girls in the hotel because the security lets them into the hotel uh -huh. courtyard and stuff. It's it's rather palatial. It's very nice. But you see the working girls, they pay off the yeah yeah yeah. And we, this, we know how it works. Out. Yeah, we know how it works. They pay off the security. <laughs> well, anyways, I guess they, I don't know if they got with the same chick. I want to know how one is coughing and the other one has his eye checked. What the hell happened there? Well, uh. okay, I said, all right, you just, you dumb motherfuckers. Were they like in a four-way <laughs> and there was a misfire that went to his eye? <laughs> let me just let me finish <laughs> it gets grosser okay oh my mm. all right 
and I could just tell. All right, you got drip in the eye. <laughs> you got drip in the throat. <laughs> so the one with pink eye goes, "Don't give us any shit, Sergeant Fitzwell." <laughs> I says, you don't use my person, my alter ego name here. <laughs> I'm the, the I'm going to be your grumpy and wiser NCO here. You guys need to disguise yourself as the public. You need to go somewhere downtown on the economy with the local doctor. He'll clear this shit up, and it's done. Yeah, we don't need to discuss it anymore. Like nothing happened. That's exactly what I would have done. Okay, no, they go to the physician's assistant at the hotel. Okay, this is not going to go well. The PA calls back for uh -huh. shot records. Oh, sh oh, oh, okay. So the PA rats them out. Well, they ratted themselves out. Well, the PA called back. Well, they ratted themselves out because they didn't do what the senior NCO told them to do. But yeah. All right. So. And, and that happens all the time. Yeah, they don't listen. They always think they know what's better. Yeah. They didn't go on the economy. They didn't get the shot and the harsh talking to they just went to the PA because they thought, well, you know, since the FARC is out there and they got a little paranoid, so they decided to keep it safe. <laughs> Sorry. All right. They had a standing order from a full bird not to let the little head out. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the so story was they they freaking, I don't know, they must have Eiffel Towered the same chick or something. I, I don't know what position, but obviously one in the throat, one in the eye. So, so they themselves getting fucked. yes okay getting spit roasted oh gosh it's well they actually spit roast their own career because they're disobeyed a full bird <laughs> colonel well the <laughs> the flight surgeon calls the group commander uh-huh satellite phone rings about two hours i just got freaking counseling these two morons yeah yeah nice guys but man then they weren't taking it they were thinking with a little head. Yeah. And that's where the saying comes. I need that like a hole in the head. There so, you go. Yep. I answer the phone, and it's the man. Oh, no. Yeah. And he goes, look, you put them two dumb motherfuckers on the same plane. I don't care if they fly with the suitcases, first class, second class. I don't give a shit if they got to row themselves on a fucking raft. You get their asses back here, and you tell them they do not go home. They come straight to the fucking carpet. Ooh, that's not good. Dun, dun, dun. That was not the... No, that that literally means when you come straight to the carpet... Your you, career is over. You show up in Ooh. front of the, the, the commanding officer at attention in your dress, your class A's if you oh, have Oh, no, them. that was in civilian clothes. Oh, no, they're f***ed I, I heard it was bad. Bad, bad. So, and then everything's just like... Oh, and I, then the end of the phone conversation says we're going to have two more come down there to help you with the management and stuff i'm like okay that's great sir i was like thinking to myself why and i'm telling these two guys why did you not listen to me uh -huh. get on the economy go to the doctor clear it up you got your harsh talking it costs to. 50 bucks yeah. that may not even that yeah you're like it's dirt cheap down there yeah you could have found any doctor at any pharmacy to All give right. you the stuff you needed yeah here's the secret all right i i always had my own medical kit with me yeah I know you did. And in that medical kit was a 10-day cycle of doxycycline and amoxicillin and some tetracycline just in case I had a guy come with you know come back to formation and want to go on sick call with drippy dick. No, no, no. Here's the antibiotics. You don't say shit. If this doesn't cl start clearing up within 3 days, mm -hmm. we'll reevaluate you going on sick call. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> and most of the time, I, I th th it worked, and th th they were fine. It, it cleared but, up whatever was going on. Yeah. I didn't have a lot of paperwork. I didn't have to go stand but before the But it was the, the most disgusting thing I ever saw. I see this eye. I'm like, oh, my God. You can go blind from that. It was – how? Does you? How do you get drip in the eye? Well, I know. Yeah. There had to be a four-way, and somebody misfired in somebody's eye – and then somebody put their mouth on something. Hey, some of these chicks are like oh. like fire hydrants when you run into them in an action movie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, not that I would know about that. <laughs> but I was just, I was, for, for once, I was like just absolutely disappointed because they were both good guys. And I personally, yeah, you know, I, I would, 
I would f them up a little bit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, fuck I was not going I'm not gonna f a dude's career no. up because he wants to f a whore. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. But the I'll, same I'll, one, the same two of them on the well, same one. Uh. Well, there would be some. Uh, there would be some waivers of don't ask, don't tell. Yeah. I'd be like, what, what's going on here? Well, we do hey, remember hey. The, the story but, of. There's one chick and six rangers. It was more than six. Oh, well, a lot of guys in that room. Well, anyways, yeah. I said, what convinced both of you to do this? Gonorrhea geyser. <laughs> she gave us a two-for-one offer. <laughs> Are you serious? I am serious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> it's just like ladies when J.C. Penney, you know, decided to take away the sale prices and just make their, you know, their stuff cheaper. All right, now, Sales dropped because... People just can't resist. The people the out there need to understand, especially in the army. Wow! All right, <laughs> you are going to get fucked with mercilessly <laughs> for shit like that. Yes. Do they have to clip a coupon for that? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> buy her a few drinks. I, I have no idea. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It was just. Come on, guys. Well, how old were they? Uh, mid twenties. They're <laughs> thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I, listen. I've been there. Two for one. All, All right. right. She looks. Oh, well, let's do this. <laughs> Two for one at Carmen's convalescent <laughs> castle. Of course. I'm in. Of course. <laughs> if oh, I yeah. was to take it like that, I would uh, already pregame with antibiotics and have a rubber on. No. What just got me shaking my head was like a two for one. Who gives a two for one offer? <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live Mondays and Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Eastern and Tuesdays prime time at 8 p.m. And if you really want to get nuts, become a supporter on Patreon, Locals, or Subscribestar and get exclusive live streams every Thursday. So what are you waiting for?